almost four years after millions of popular infant inclined sleep products, including the Fisher Price Rock and Play were recalled because of safety concerns. More child deaths are being linked to these products. And Jennifer Kraus is joining us live with more on this. So Jennifer, I think the big question for so many of us is how is this possible? Right, yeah, exactly. Well, sadly, a lot of parents don't know about the dangers or even the recall. And some say it's the companies behind these products that are to blame, that they're not doing enough to warn parents. Breaking news tonight on a major recall of the popular rock and play sleeper made by Fisher Price. That was the spring of 2019 when Fisher Price and kids to infant inclined sleepers were recalled after a Consumer Reports investigation revealed at least 36 deaths linked to the products. Since then, the number of deaths have tripled. Now, new information just released is a stark reminder that these dangerous sleep products are still in use. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says at least eight additional babies have reportedly died in the Fisher Price's Rock and Play Sleeper, and four have died in the Kids 2 Rocking Sleeper since the recall, bringing the total number of deaths for both sleepers to more than 100. These sleepers position infants on an inclined sleeping surface, and that increases the risk of suffocation if it makes their heads drop forward onto their chests while they're sleeping. Sadly, the news that additional infants have died means that even while the inclined sleepers cannot legally be sold, they're still being used in people's homes. When a product gets recalled, it's the manufacturer's responsibility to both get it out of the stores and to alert people who already own it to stop using it immediately. And um, safety experts say that they just haven't seen Fisher Price or kids to do enough in that area. According to Mattel, Fisher Price's parent company, as of last March, only 9.5% of the rock and play sleepers had been accounted for since the recall. In other words, more than 4 million recalled sleepers are potentially still in use. Mattel says Fisher Price has worked diligently to remove all recalled product from the market since the recall of the rock and play in 2019. Kids, too, did not respond to a request for comment from Consumer Reports. To keep your baby safe, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that babies be put to bed only in products that meet federal safety requirements for infant sleep, like a bassinet, a crib, or a play yard. If you're having a hard time getting your infant to sleep, ask your pediatrician for tips rather than using an unsafe positioning product. And the Consumer Product Safety Commission would love your help warning others and collecting all of these unsafe products. Rebecca, they say if you see one of these for sale anywhere, they'd ask that you contact them on their website, saferproducts.gov.